Today, we're going over which TikTok hacks will ruin your hair and which ones are safe. Let's get into it, starting with number one. Here we go. Hair sprinkles? Whoa, what, we got hair and like a, is that a boiling pot? Okay, we're putting sprinkles in our hair. A spatula? <laughs> what is this? Baking powder? Okay, and oh, we're just gonna cook it. Is this witchcraft? What are we doing here? Salt? Like, I just hate that this girl's hair is sitting in boiling hot water right now. This looked like the instructions a six-year-old would write to get rainbow-like unicorn hair. Okay, I think this, like, this reminds me of those tie-dye videos, like, where we're gonna, like, her hair is gonna turn all different colors. So I'm kind of excited to see what, what this turn, no. That is not what it turns out to. It's just brown and gross. What is the point of this? She legit puts it in a bowl, like, like she's gonna eat it. <laughs> Please stay away from this. Definitely not a game changer. Danger scissors. All right, we got some scissors parting down the middle. So she's gonna teach us how to trim her hair. That face, oh my gosh. It looks like a hoodie out of hair. What, whoa, she's just really got like, she's very ballsy right now. She's just going for it. And she's cutting the bottom? Okay, how straight is it? She's like the salt bay with her hair. She's like, doo, doo, doo. How straight is this? Okay, that actually looks pretty decent. Wow, actually, I'm impressed. I mean, in all honesty, like the cut looks pretty good. She really needs to get a blow dryer with a nozzle, but now we're blow drying it. It looks good. It looks good. I can't, I can't say anything. I would not be ballsy enough to try this at home. I feel like I would fail hardcore at this. I really like this girl. I feel like we should put one of hers in every single video now. Just because she can pull this off does not mean you can pull this off. Never do this. Not a game changer at all. Natural washing? <laughs> what is going on right now? What am I looking at? <laughs> I thought she was legit washing clothes on a stone. If you played scary music right now, it's exactly like that movie, The Ring. I was like, oh my God, she's working so hard. Then she starts like whipping her hair. Somebody really needs to tell this lady not to put shampoo on her mids and ends. But it's not gonna be me because I'm not going anywhere near this ring lady. It's the whipping technique for me. Like, I think that's what we need to comment on the game changer. All right, for all the people that are like, don't brush your hair when it's wet, it's way too delicate and it'll break off. Look at this. like. Look at this. Like I need to know, like does this do something? Like I have to literally like get all the way down here to make it like appear like, like. All right, so should you wash your hair like this? I don't even know, I'm just gonna give her credit for it. Game changer, awesome job. Curls on curls? Okay, before I even keep going on, can I just say, look at this hair. <laughs> Gorgeous, beautiful curls. All right, she's gonna show us how she got that. She's wrapping it around her curling iron. I like that technique. So one thing I like about her is she's telling you the size barrel she uses, so you can use it at home. She's pushing it back up while it's still hot, pinning it up while it's still hot. I love that, super smart. So I actually like that she holds a curl. Her hair is so heavy. Like, I don't need to know her to know that her hair is heavy. Like, do you, if she let that curl go, it would have dropped to the floor and it would have looked like um, like, would it, like a yo-yo type of effect. <laughs> All right, we're doing the front now. We're even clipping the front, putting it up on top for volume instead of on the side. Already halfway through, it's like gorgeous. This takes a while, guys. Like, if you do this, this is a commitment. This is not an easy thing to do in like 10 minutes. Wow. I mean, I was impressed with the first part of it and now I'm like still impressed piece by piece as she's dropping it. That looks really, really good. Like the final result is always amazing on that. I love it. You have to realize this isn't gonna work for everybody. Her hair is beautiful. It's flawless. So is this gonna be a game changer? If your curls don't hold, yes, this is an absolute game changer. Game changer. In and out. We got a guy here, two of us guys now. This is awesome. His hair is a little bit better than mine. Curling your hair two ways. All right, so he went in with the first, he curled it towards, like inward, like oh, towards his face. He looks like he's outside in like Ireland. Where do you think he is? And the other one he did away from his face. He's saying that if you curl the hair inwards, you get more thickness. If you curl it outwards, it looks longer. I have no idea what he's talking about. Is this April Fool's? Your hair doesn't get longer based on curling it left or right. Like you can just trade sides and no. I think that if this said curling your hair two ways, tighter versus looser, this would be a great video. Because then, yes, a tighter curl is gonna make it like shrink up like near you and make it appear that you have more hair because it's all together. 
versus a looser curl, which is just gonna make it look like it's longer. You know, it's just how much you break your curl. I used to get frustrated with this, but this is just what you get on TikTok. This is life now, never trust it. Definitely not game changer. The split ender. All right, we have a machine here. <sighs> this like gives me anxiety, whew. It claims to get rid of split ends without losing length. All right, so she's passing it through and she's showing me now the hair that she got from it, which isn't much. All right, and a little bit of hair came out. She's doing a side-by-side -side comparison. And honestly, like, I mean, her hair actually looks very good on that side. Ooh, that side does look better than the other. She did it on one side and not the other. But I'll be honest with you, I feel like if she put a brush on the other side, it might look just as good. <laughs> All right, so story time. About five years ago, we bought this machine. One of the stylists saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, we have to buy this. So we bought it. All the stylists tried it out. Their hair looked absolutely amazing. All the ends were perfect. It looked great. The next day they came in and their hair looked absolutely terrible. Like the ends were way worse than they were in the first place. I would never recommend using anything like this. Definitely not a game changer. Kitchen hair. All right, what is this? We got Aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. I love household items on videos. Let's see what they do. Hair does look pretty good. All right, she's trying to recreate it. She has great hair, this girl who's starting. Okay. Okay, the other girl doesn't. I mean, she has good hair, but she doesn't have great hair. Okay, sorry. I mean, she's doing it for a reason. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that looks actually really good. That looks great. That does look a lot better. Guys, I have a really sad thing to tell you though. We tried this on me. It's great in that moment. 15 seconds later, not so much. As soon as your hair gets moving and you start living your life, it's gone right away. Fun fact, an even better version of this is using a dryer sheet. Dryer sheets work phenomenal. I will say that they last you a little bit longer. This type of thing can be a lot of fun to play around with, but definitely not a game changer. Tricky cuts. Trim your hair, ladies. She has some damage at the bottom of her hair. You can see it right in the middle where it's kind of like white there. I feel like the world is telling me to watch this video. I've needed to get a trim for so long. He's going, all right, don't you? Ah, uh, no, 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 okay. This guy's a little showman taking his time. The symmetry and the cutting is like killing me right now. Like finish it, come on. And all the dead ends are gone. What do you know? Mine's not that bad though, like, yeah, you should cut it up there. You should. Getting trims all the time is not good for your hair. You go in and the stylist is like, oh, look what you did to your ends. We have to cut them all off now. Like they blame it on you. If your stylist taught you how to properly take care of your hair, you wouldn't have to get frequent trims. Your ends would just stay healthy and you could do it every couple months. This is not a game changer. Take better care of your hair. Troll hair. She's so happy and she's like, and he's so happy. Like. They're all so happy. I can guarantee you, most stylists would not be this happy if a client walked in with that much hair. That's a lot of work. I love that he like signals to her what to do. He's like, shake it from left to right. It looks so good. And she's like, okay, I can do that. These are the happiest two people on the face of the planet. Like he's holding her hair up legit like it looks like a troll. Does it look like that thing that like just kept getting better? What's it called? Oh, it's a chia pet. A chia pet, that's it. Is this? He's like waving his hands over her hair like he's Harry Potter and nothing has happened. I just want you guys to know that nothing has happened. Wow, that looks totally different. <laughs> that looks really, really good. Like for her having a wildebeest like there, I don't know what he did, but he ate some of her hair. <laughs> I don't know what was going on in the beginning, but the after, game changer, I like it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out another one of our videos. Have a good one.